compliment. Here are the words, thank you, chaps. A is for address. Now, by address here, I don't mean that little pink chiffon outfit that I was seen wearing on Facebook over the weekend. Uh, that shouldn't have gone out, okay? By address here, I mean address your colleagues, your patients, uh, caregivers, or the parents or the family of uh, patients who you might be having some difficult conversations with. If you address them with their name in conversation, just once or twice during the conversation, it would actually help you to create a better bond with that patient, with that work colleague, with that family member, whatever it is. You all know, you can all visualize, it may even have happened already today, you're outside there in the foyer and the conversation was going on maybe 10 yards away from you, you didn't know what was happening with that conversation. And then someone mentions your name at that conversation and your ears perk up. And you're getting nods from a lot of people here. The reason why that happens is because the most powerful and impactful words in our vocabulary is our name. And when someone mentions your name, it actually helps to create a visceral uh, reaction and connection. I mean, take an example. Let's say you go to the supermarket at the weekend, and one of the kids in the high school is uh, on the checkout. And you go up to the kid in the high school, from the high school on the checkout, and you'll say, hi, Jim, how are you? And Jim's first reaction is, huh? How does she know or he know my name? He's forgotten he's got his badge on. But then his reaction, though, is a big smile comes across his face. He treats you totally differently. He does, if, and compared to the person that doesn't mention the name. Mentioning people's names, addressing them in conversation, makes a big difference, chaps. P is for positive. Michael goal number one, compliment. Michael goal number two, hear the words thank you. Michael goal number three, address someone by name. Michael goal number four, 